Yo, today we'll take a look at MPOW H5 active noise cancelling headphones that were sent by MPOW, company that specializes in consumer audio electronics and accessories. These headphones were surprisingly cheap compared to what it offers to us on the paper. I'm surprised at how much MPOW H5 can offer us only for $50. First of all, thanks to Courier for squeezing this box into some place where you can really see the sun, but whatever. Let's look at the information on the box. First thing I see is active noise cancelling. For $50 it's a nice feature. Foldable design, hi-fi audio. Well, okay, I'm really skeptical about it, because I use Sennheiser HD600 and totally are hi-fi class headphones, but we'll see if these are the same. Soft and comfortable sounds nice. Over the specifications we see that working radius is 10 meters. Pretty long working time, my phone can't even stay awake for such long time. Charging is also pretty fast. Maybe it can even be faster with quick charger. So, let's see what's left inside after delivery. The first thing I see is that the package is not oversaturated on the branding. Do you really want to pay more for a serious package? For example, Sennheiser HD600 or HD650 packaging. MPOW H5 comes with micro USB charging cable. But it can be charged using any phone charger and its cable. Well, of course, if it's a micro USB type. Cable is long enough even for listening to music while charging them. And, of course, in the box we can find the headphones and 3.5mm stereo cable. In case of empty battery or music player without Bluetooth. Cable is flat type, that's real nice, less tangling. One bad thing I see that it lacks the remote and mic control, although it headphones have a microphone and buttons. But if battery is dry and headphones are being used with a cable, it would have been nice if cable was with microphone function. And of course, let's not forget about manual in two languages. No multi-volume box, only small and easy manual. Everything is written in a couple of pages, easy to view. I am a big fan of short manuals. Also, there is a warning about not charging the headphones with a homemade charger. Last thing we get for $50 is a headphone storage bag. Nice thing for avoiding simply putting the headphones in the bag. In $50 category, it's a real nice surprise. Even my Sennheiser didn't get any storage bags, lol. Now let's take a look at the most important thing. Headphones are packaged in a simple bag, but remember that packaging also costs money. Hey, that's pretty good. Feels like they're a little bit heavy and that they cost more than $50. Earpads are big. Reminds me of both CQC25 that I used some time ago. Let me try them on. First feeling is quite nice, maybe a little bit tight, but I've been pampered by my HD600 which are open type, so closed types will always be tight. Headphones are easily foldable. It's a convenient thing, especially if you plan on using them outside your home. You can quickly unfold the headphones and start using them. And the best thing is, if you smear them, the headphones can easily be refreshed using bag's material. Construction is rigid, there is a metal built in sides and gives additional safety. Left and right sides have metal decorative fasteners. Headphones don't have a huge amount of buttons, but they are put in convenient places. Only confusing thing is that cable has to be connected on the right side compared to the usual left side. Now let's try turning them on and off to hear the greeting voice. Power on. Pairing. Can we actually connect? Yes, we can. Power off. I put together this video after using the headphones for about 3 weeks and here's my opinion. Firstly, I don't understand how can they sell these headphones for only $50 if everything they offer is worth much more. What I really liked is the low price and a good construction quality compared to other <coughs> bad dealers. Active noise cancelling works well. Low frequency noise is removed brilliantly, but high frequency noise is not so much. Such problem occurs in many ANC headphones. I also liked the earpads, even though they're closed type. I could use them for 2-3 hours with no problems. Well, of course, it depends on the user's head size and ear size. With ANC turned on, they become a little bit louder. The sound is better through Bluetooth compared to the cable. But if you have a good sound card and headphone amplifier, they could sound a little better through the wire. Headphone storage bag is also a nice bonus. What I did not like is headphone cable that lacks microphone. Also packaging with cardboard frame would have been nice. Sound is more than acceptable for this price. Of course, it's not correct to compare them to my Sennheiser HD600. But I'm used to them and their reference class headphones, although 90% of them sound pretty boring. These MPO H5 sound quite nice. With a raised bass and with turned on ANC, beats can wiggle your ear tips. I also measured the frequency response and the results meet my expectations. Bass is a must have, and with turned on ANC, they become louder. I also added a curve to compare different headphones. If you have any suggestions or observations, feel free to start the discussion down in the comments. In conclusion, these headphones are on the same level as high price and performance headphones. 
No wonder they are so popular and have a 4.3 star rating on Amazon. These headphones convinced me that good everyday headphones don't have to cost $100 or more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and leave down in the comments your review about these headphones or any other good price and performance headphones. And goodbye.